We all know the myth. The 5.56 by 45 millimeter is this tiny, weak, light, little 22 caliber round that when moving through the air can be blown off course by any puff of breeze or the tiniest twig. In fact, we know that if a 5.56 by 45 millimeter bullet impacts a blade of grass during its flight, it will do a complete 180 degree turn and come back and kill the shooter. This is what caused our boys to get killed in Vietnam. Or... Maybe not. Stand by to be deprogrammed, comrade. Cue the intro. We've all heard the 762 by 39 versus 556, but debate for years, and sometimes we get bored with it, but we always come back to it. And, uh, you know, the, one, one of the things the 762 guys always say against the 556 is that it, uh, or what they say is the virtue of the 762 is that it has barrier penetration. And that that the, that, that, that 556 is so light and so small that if it hits a blade of grass, you know, if it hits a twig, it's deflected and, and misses and, and goes off. You know, and it's a wasted shot. Well, I was I was over here burning the garden the other day, uh, and I noticed something over here at, at my uh, my target. So, so this is a repurposed uh, tool shadow box or something. I hung tools at it at one of the places I used to work. Uh, come here, buddy. And if you look at it, it's got two and a quarter inches worth of OSB on it. Now, OSB isn't you know oak. But it's two and a quarter inches of OSB. Okay, come around back. Here you can see where they were hanging the tools. Okay, so we've been shooting this exclusively, by the way, with nothing else other than 9mm and, and 5.56. And the majority of the 5.56 was 55 grain uh, or 62 grain uh, green tip, the uh, M855 exclusively that's all that's been shot on this is that 55 grain and 62 grain 556 five, in fact the 55 grain may have been 223 remington uh which shoots at a low has a lower chamber pressure that's all that we've been shooting on this thing now you can see this is two and a quarter inches of osb and it, it's blowing out the back just fine now that doesn't surprise anybody anybody would expect it to blow right through this but what does that say about the, the myth of barrier penetration on the 5.56? Well, let's look right here. <laughs> Here's what I know, and I had noticed this until just recently. Look at my trees behind this target. All of this is the 5.56. So all of this is coming through two and a quarter inches of OSB and coming and hitting these trees afterwards. And you can look, you can see straight lines. Like you can almost draw a straight line from some of these exit holes to where some of these bullets are impacting the tree. But it gets better. Come here and check this out. I have to wait for my camera woman to catch up to me. Okay, so after this 5.56 goes through two and a quarter inches of OSB, it hits this pine tree skims it and keeps going in a straight line and impacts right here into this pine tree now that's not a hundred percent it's possible that's a, that's a different impact but it's definitely an impact from one of these that skin this tree one of these two trees here uh, look at this one right here Hold on a second. Okay, yeah, that was just a... I want to make sure there wasn't a bullet sticking in there. This one came in... Uh, definitely the width of a bullet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And looks like it kept going straight out here. After hitting two and a quarter inches of 556, five, it came through about two or three inches of pine. And you know what? Possibly at that point it was deflected. Yo, I mean, <laughs> I'm okay with that if it was. But look at that is still in a straight line behind that that target. 
and we were shooting that target from 50 yards uh, 50 yards away we were shooting that target and it was going through all that OSB two and a quarter inches hitting these trees immediately behind that's it look the impacts are only immediately behind the target none of these impacts are to the left or the right of the target those bullets were coming through that target in this in the same straight you know same linear path that they in basically roughly I mean obviously I mean uh, my point here is that the 556 five, is not this this like incredibly light weak round that gets deflected with a puff puff of breeze or or when it hits uh you know the smallest twig in fact We've got some right here where the bullet hit a twig and uh, just zipped right through it and kept going. As far back as, come on, let's take a walk. As far back as here, we're still having impacts directly behind that target. Uh, we've got some right here and right here. Now we start seeing some getting a little higher and that could possibly be deflection it could probably just misses though uh, we were doing some rapid fire and goofing off a little bit and we were getting some zeros and stuff so those are still in the straight line behind the target my guess is those are are just straight up misses it's possible highly unlikely that you know that maybe they did finally get deflected but you wouldn't expect them to get deflected up you would get expect them to get deflected left or right it would be weird if they they went higher that's kind of against the laws of physics but I, it's possible my point being is that if you're worried about five five six getting deflected yeah you know look two and a quarter inches of osb any any amount of pine trees it's still on the same line not one impact anywhere you can see off to the left or right that's been deflected you know uh by these rather impressive barriers I suggest to you that if you're shooting through more than that, you probably don't have a real good idea what you're shooting at. Uh, so hopefully, maybe we can put to, to, to bed the myth of 5.56 five, and, and deflection. Maybe not so much barrier penetration. Barrier penetration may have, may have been the wrong way to describe that. But certainly deflection. This idea that, that the 5.56 five, is going to hit a twig in, in, the, in the forest and be deflected off its path. Uh, seems to me to be utter and total tripe uh, and I think you know I've, we've kind of exposed that here today now obviously we're shooting full metal jacket and full metal jacket penetrates pretty good but that's that's kind of the the, the ammunition that this whole debate is centered around you know the military 556 five, against the the, mili the the military 762 by 39 even now there's no major military left in the world that fires the 762 by 39 and and let me reiterate here once again I actually like the 7.62 by 39. I think it's a really good little round. Uh, I own a right well. I technically own a rifle in 7.62 by 39. My dad claims that I claim it. It gets a little weird there in the middle. Uh, but I like the round. It's a good solid round. It's comparable to a 30-30. Uh, I was about to say 30-6, and then you were all going to uh, scream at me. Uh, but it's comparable to the 30-30. Nothing wrong with it. Perfectly fine, acceptable round. I have a, a Mini 30. My, my rifle in it is Mini 30. Great, great rifle. Great round combination. Love it. This is not necessarily a criticism of the 7.62 by 39. I have no criticisms, really, of that round. I have some philosophical, uh, but, but none major. Uh, but some. So, so mostly I'm trying to say is the myth of this, this alleged weakness in the 5.56, which is extremely misunderstood even today, is, is garbage. It's bullshit. Uh... And you should be ashamed for yourself of yourself if you continue to to push that that tripe after all this. Uh, the 556 five, obviously can deal with with it won't deflect well going through barriers. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. I'm getting spun up. It does not struggle with deflection when going through barriers because I just showed you two and a quarter inches of OSB straight line. All these trees, how chewed up they are, directly behind it. This, this whole idea of deflection and barrier penetration with the 556 five, is garbage. It's over. I'm sorry, comrade. You lost the Cold War. You've lost the propaganda war. It's over. Give it up. <laughs> we appreciate you, man. Thank you. Hey, the, this phone's ringing. How do you answer a phone call on this thing? Oh, 
Oh my God, it's the Russian hackers. I've got that. Hello, comrade? Da? Comrade! Yes, yes, I faked the video. Yeah, I went and I hit all those trees with an all punch to make it look like they were impacted by bullets when they weren't. You can tell comrade Putin that the American capitalist pig dogs will be fooled. And when he invades, they will be armed with the inferior lightweight round. Well, well, yeah, I, it is similar to the one you guys adopted. But that doesn't matter. Your round is Russian, so it's better. It's comblock. Oh, yeah, you guys did away with communism. But still, anyway, it doesn't matter. Your, your round was adopted in the Russian era. Yeah, right after Vietnam, remember? Yeah, yeah, you guys wanted to make a round that, 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 that worked more like the 556 five, right after Vietnam when, when they had gone head-to-head. So, so what, what, you guys are saying that, that you don't think the 7.62 is, is the superior round? Oh. Well, I, 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 I was really trying to, to propagate the propaganda, propagate propaganda, I like that, for, for the Russian invasion. You're, you're saying that, that, that the 7.62 by 39 isn't, isn't, isn't really that, oh. Well, you know what? We'll convince them all to like ballet. You guys are great at ballet. We'll, we'll get them all to like ballet, and you guys won't even have to invade. You'll just be able to, to come in like normal. Da, comrade. Sashtopada visava! Visava!